Okay, let's see how to do the sum and product of matrices. The first observation is that in order for the sum of two matrices to make sense, we need A and B to have the same dimension. A has to be an N by M matrix and B has to be an M by M matrix. And the sum of the two matrices, we just do it entry by entry. Let's see an example. If we have two, three, one, zero, one, and four, plus negative one, zero, one, one, zero, two, then we do the sum entry by entry. Then here we have two plus negative one is one, three plus zero is three, one plus one is two, zero plus one is one, one plus zero is one, four plus two is six. To do the product A times B, we need the number of columns of A, to be equal to the number of rows of B. And when we do the, this product, we will get a matrix C. And to see the dimension of C, we can do the following trick. This is a matrix N times M. M is the number of columns. This number of columns needs to be equal to the number of rows of B. That means that the dimension of B should be like M times P. And then the fact that these two numbers are the same, it says that we can do this product. And to get the dimension of the result, we just cancel these two M's that are the same, and we get an N times P. That means that the product of these two matrices will give us a matrix with n rows and p columns. Let's do an example. 2, 1, 4, negative 1, 1, 1, times 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's see, this is a 2 by 3, and this is a 3 by 3. Since these two numbers are the same, then the product makes sense and the answer is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. Let's write the entries. We need a 2 by 3. We need to find 6 numbers and there are two ways to find these 6 numbers. The first way is by doing a row column group. And that means that we're going to do a product sum. For example, to get this entry, we notice that this entry is the entry 1-1. One, one. Then we use the first row of A and the first column of B, and we do a product sum. We do 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 4 times 0 is 0. Then will be 4 plus 3 plus 0 is a 7. And then we can get any entry like this. For example, to get this entry here, this is the entry 2-2. Two, two. Then we use the second row with the second column and we do a product sum. Here is negative 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 0 is just 1. To get this entry here, this is the entry 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two means that we use the first row and the second column, and we do the product sum. We have two plus two is four plus zero. We give us four. This is the entry one, three. Then we use the first row and the third column, and we do two times one is two, plus one is three, plus four is seven. Uh, to get this entry, this is the entry two, one, and then we use the second row and the first column and we do a product sum. We have negative 2 plus 3 is 1 plus 0. It just give us 1. And finally, to get this entry, this is the entry 2, 3. And then we use the second row of A and the third column of B. And we have negative 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 1 
this one. This is one way to do the product of these two matrices. And the other way is just by getting the columns. Then we know that we need to find three columns. And then if we label this is the matrix A and this is the matrix B, then the first column of the product is going to be A times the first column of B. The second column is going to be A times the second column of B. And the third column is going to be A times the third column of B. Then, for example, to get the first column, we do the product of this matrix with this vector. We do the product 2, 1, 4, negative 1, 1, 1, times 2, 3, 0. And as we have seen before, this is just the linear combination of the columns of this matrix using as weights these three numbers. Then we get 2 times 2, negative 1, plus 3 times 1, 1, plus 0 times 4, 1, and then this will give us 4, negative 2, plus 3, 3, which is the vector 7, 1. Then this is the first column. We can do another column to get this column here. We do the product of this with the second column, and then we get the linear combination 1 times 2, negative 1, plus 2 times 1, 1, plus 0 times 4, 1. And then this is just 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 0 is 4. And here we have negative 1 plus 2 is 1, plus 0 is just 1. Finally, the third column is just the product of this matrix with this vector. And it is the linear combination of 1 times 2, negative 1 plus 1 times 1, 1, plus 1 times 4, 1. Remember that we do that by doing the linear combination of the columns using as weights these numbers. And then we get that this is uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7. And here we have negative 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 4. Then we get the same answer. And this gives us two ways to do the product of two matrices. And remember, for this product to make sense, we need the number of columns of A to be equal to the number of rows of B.